guys. So we are standing in my kitchen and I wanted to show you a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to pan around and show you this is all coming down. These are all the uppers. Those are all coming down and see below. I have lots of storage space down below me. Um, the thing is this home was built in the, in the nineties and it kind of still has like that 90s touch. It's not fresh and modern um, compared to everything else that's in my home. And so while it is a lovely kitchen and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, I kind of wanted to blend in with the rest of the home. So this is an opportunity to do a very small refresh because the cabinets are great and the color is great. I almost, I almost painted them black. But I decided to go this route instead. I feel it's more of the minimalist um, in me and I'm gonna appreciate it so much more. So the backsplash here. Now you're, <laughs> now this wasn't here. This is what led me to do this whole renovation. I put this shelf here. There was another cabinet just like that here. And I'm not really feeling all three shelves. I'm gonna keep one cohesive shelf running through you know, the, the rest of where those cabinets are. And then we're gonna change the subway towel backsplash to this marble that we purchased. So, thanks. So hopefully I don't break it. Um, so if I spin around my kitchen, um, we have a double oven. All the, appliance here, all the appliances here are white, which is not ideal for me. I'm not, but it blended in with the kitchen when I bought the house and I thought it was okay, but they are really tiny bit outdated. So I'm gonna put stainless steel appliances and I have a cooktop stove. And so all of this is fine. We have beautiful granite. Let me show you my granite. It might be a little dirty, but this is the granite and that's gonna stay and it's gonna blend beautifully with this marble um, tile that we have here. And then if I come around here, um, you'll see my very old um, refrigerator. So that's gonna all get replaced. So these uppers are coming down and we're gonna run a beautiful shelf right here. We're gonna get a new custom um, counter depth refrigerator so that it lines up right there with this counter. And yeah, so the appliances may not be here. They're probably gonna take some time to get delivered. So what I'm going to do is just work on this renovation. Okay, so I spun around, here's where I was. I forgot to show you guys. So if I spin around, this is my breakfast table. Um, see this cabinet that I have here? Uh, a buffet table here. It was built in um, when the kitchen was built. And so we have this large space here. So if I spin around, here's the kitchen. So it's a fairly large kitchen. Guys, right, so one last look before we take these down. I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, but you know me, I'm up for a good challenge. So got the step stool ready, drill gun here. All right, here we go. kitchen. Dave is taking down this last cabinetry so that we can get to the tiles. And here's here's the uh, <laughs> here's the progress of what's going on. A lot of work to do. What we thought would be a simple just retile and paint and call it a day turned into now we have to buy cement board, drill it in, patch it up, and breathe now then tile and then tile after that. Well, so. here is the, okay, so here is what it looks like without the cabinets. So now we just gotta remove that little patch of tile and then we have to order our paint. And we're going to replace the refrigerator. I'm still kind of torn whether I should just update um, to a new white one and keep the color just all white or do stainless steel. So we're also thinking of building out a, um, a panel just so that the new refrigerator that comes in, whatever I decide, is flushed and it just seems seamless. 
Here my husband is notching the brackets for the floating shelves. This is something that he thought would work really, really well and I couldn't agree more. And then now he's just dry fitting one of the tiles to test. I feel like these little, these little points are, are kind of important so that, I mean, most people who know how to do this, this is a no brainer, but if you guys are new to these kind of projects, all these little steps are so important. And so he's just, um, <clears throat> dry fitting it and then making his marks so that he can cut it. Right now I'm doing the outlets and switches that are behind here for where they fall. You can sit here and do a ton of measurements, but sometimes it's easier to kind of lay it down and go, okay, I need to mark here and then set it straight up and down and figure out about what the height of them are. Right. Use a T-square and go straight across and make your lines the way you need them. And then how do you plan on cutting this? With a knife? Yeah, I'll just take a, I have a sheetrock knife or I can just use a normal uh, knife, shop knife. Mm -hmm. And I will, where I do my terminate my lines for what needs to cut out. Right. I'll just cut those squares out for outlets and for light switches. And I'll just cut out the U shape for the bottom cool. of these and then just fit it in nice. and screw it down. Once all of the metal brackets were attached and the cement board was up, my husband gave the wall a very light sanding. So here my husband is using a grease pencil to make his marks for every outlet. One of the other ways that we refreshed our kitchen is by updating the um, handles and knobs from our cabinets. Now the ones that we had weren't bad, but I wanted a fresh look and I purchased um, some beautiful ones off of Amazon that I will link down in the description below. These are natural brass and they are beautiful. They look very fresh and very elegant and they paired very, very well with the white cabinets. Okay, quick update. Look at this beautiful work that my husband has so far done. I'm gonna take you down here. He still has all of this to go. Don't mind our lunch. <laughs> but yeah, so this is it. And it's looking really, really good. I'm so excited. So guys, here is the final reveal. I absolutely love how bright and airy it is and just it's minimal and it's so me and it really did not take too much time. I think we did this project within four or five days time. Fortunately, our favorite refrigerator was on back order, so there will be a part two to this video, hopefully very soon when things go back into stock. And yeah, guys, so this is it. I absolutely love it, and I hope you did too. If you did, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this week, and I'll see you in my next video soon.